hello everyone welcome back it's been a minute i've been busy uploading shorts that i forgot that i'm supposed to be uploading long videos so this is a quick one we are revamping today so you can actually get what you want the color you want whatever you want with this kind of hue why because it's a crystal hue so the heel is not hard to remove if you can remove this heel you can revamp your shoe with any color any style of your choice it is when it's an iron stone or a nail that you find it very hard because you would not know where the shank is but for this one there is a place where the shank is and there's a place for your screw and your knots and all that so revamping is 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 very easy and very sweet to do in this case so what i'm doing here is we are just removing the leather the insole we are basically removing everything because she actually want the red and uh, sorry green of it she doesn't want this shade again and the transparent pattern of it was actually tearing so yeah we just needed to change everything now in pulling what you are seeing right now be careful because it's very soft it's a very soft part and you will still need it again so i went ahead to draw the pattern and i traced it on a cardboard and this is what i came out with now for this inner pattern and since i'm not using the other insole i just drew it out and just traced it as in no time <laughs> i just drew it out and traced it and i'm using a nora uh, sorry a mako 2 for this while this other bigger inner part um i use the lining for it that's the insole for it so since you are not using the insole for your for the old shoe you are just tracing everything down now for this line i just use my ruler and 14 inches and for the part what i did i just traced everything out on a cardboard first then with the cardboard i was able to get whatever i wanted now why the cardboard cardboard give you an accurate mark compared to when you are using leather because leather can be slimy and just go to where it doesn't need to go to but for the cardboard it is stiff so yeah you just need to trace on a cardboard first to get accuracy and be sure of what you are doing so what i did here is i applied gum already to get the front part that's your toe area you apply gum and just carefully pleat it remember carefully pleating so the pleating will not show at all so you just carefully going on and on with it and then guys you are done i think she make it just about patience and you arrive at what you want it's when you are not patient that your work end up not being neat or maybe you're a learner or something but when you like you do over time and you are patient with it you will get what you want now for this other side i had already applied gum you know it's a revamping now so you are just doing a, a replica of what you had with a brown new shade of um of a leather a brand new shade of leather and maybe a different design it all depends on what you want and what the customer wants so yeah this is what we are doing she wants a a green and it's a green we got for her so we're just going on and on with this line part now if the extension of this and uh, one inch line part is so lengthy for you you can simply cut it yes there's no biggie there's no big deal in it if the line part is too long for you please cut it so what i'm doing here is we're applying gum on the line because you know remember i, I told you that i had already cut the insole with a cardboard so i traced it and we have all our cutouts yes all our cutout is ready so that we will not have to be wasting time because we already know what we are doing so yeah this is it we are just placing the lining directly to the so to the insole sorry guys to the insole and you are basically done with this um the floor the next thing you are doing is the pattern now for the pattern most of these heels we buy 
the last using used to last it can be very hard to find when you are trying to last for yourself so what you are doing in lasting search you will just mark the area where it's shown on the old pattern you can use your letters your magic pen or a pencil just mark a visible part so that you will just place it just as it was in the former pattern now it might come out in a very awkward way it might not be properly lined and shaped just as the first one that's the one you removed but you will get what you want and when you wear it you will actually achieve what you want but it will not get it will not give you the shape truthfully it won't give you the shape just as the first one why because you don't have the last for it but don't worry you will still arrive at what you want now if you are not sure you can you can use your feet to last it if it's yours if it's not yours just line it based on how you saw it in the first pattern and guys you are done with it what you are doing here is you are just applying on since this is not a leather I did not file it. I only filed that green part. So I didn't tell you guys. I only filed that green part. And that was it. So what you are doing here, you are just applying your gum. Allow it to dry. When it dries. So I forgot to tell you. I had to open that other side. So that we will screw in our crystal heel. Yes. So that we will screw in our crystal heel. And that's it for our tutorial today. I hope you enjoyed it and guys don't forget i am always open for questions so what you are doing here you are just screwing the heel back that's the fun about buying crystal halo it doesn't give you stress at all <laughs> unlike that iron stamp ah that one is serious headache anyway shoe is shoe so you just need to get the one you are comfortable with and the one that will not peel but if it peels please so oh, revamp instead of throwing it see the final outlook of our green crystal heel it's so beautiful thanks for liking guys see you in my next class bye